once our Java session is generated, if you look at uh, our to do item POJO class or Java class, you can see that uh, DAO has generated uh, some default constructors. Okay, so these will usually be generated automatically. If you open the DAO master, these are generated classes as well. You don't have to modify anything in them because they are generated every time you run your application. So you have your DAO session and you also have to do item DAO. So this to do item DAO is what will help us in accessing or searching the data in our database table. Okay. So every time, for instance, if you wanted to add a new column, once you add a new column, DAO will also generate uh, these same classes every time you run your application. But don't remember that, uh, remember that whenever you add a new package, you need to go to uh, build.gradle and also increment the schema version. Okay. Once we've generated our DAO sessions, next we'll create a main application. So I'll go to my package and say new Java class. So this main application is what will help us in initializing our green DAO and also uh, the underlying database. And this is usually done once. Uh, this is usually done once from this main, main application. So this is where our database will be initialized. So the main application extends extends the Android application. And it usually overrides, we have to override the main method, uh, the on create method. I'll do public. We have to override the main method, the on create method. We'll also need to initialize our DAO session. So I'll do private DAO session. So I'll initialize an empty variable. And then of course we now have to specify how the name of our database and how it will be initialized. So the, the how to do it uh, to initialize a regular, a regular, you can initialize a regular database and also an encrypted, an encrypted database. So for our case, we'll just initialize a regular SQLite uh, database. And to do this, I just need to do DAO master. It expects usually three parameters. So the first one is this, and the second one will be the name of our database. So I can call it, uh, remind me, this is the name of our database. And of course, the last parameter is the CASA factory, which I can pass in as null. Secondly, I need to instantiate a database. Call it DB. And then you do helper dot get writable. Writable DB. Once you have done this, you need to assign it to our DAO session. So DAO session is equal to new. DAO master, you pass in your DB as the parameter there, and then of course you, st you set a new session. So this is usually done once in, uh, in your application. You don't have to be doing this every time.
Also, don't forget uh, to reference the main application from your Android manifest, and this can be done by adding a property here called Android. Android name and then of course reference the main application so once we have done that we are done with our database initialization process after setting it up on the android manifest we'll also instantiate one public method that will help us access our DAO session so on this main application i'll create one public method here we call it it returns a DAO session and here we just return the DAO session 